So, on July 15th, Valve announced the Steam Deck, a portable PC with striking resemblance to the Nintendo Switch, and let me tell you something, Valve, this is actually pretty cool. I was skeptical of this thing at first because, well, we all remember how much of a flop Valve's first console was, but honestly, I think this thing has way more potential in the market. See, the problem with the Steam Machine, or the Steam Box, or whatever you want to call it, was the fact that nobody wanted a PC for their TV, because the PC can already be hooked up to a TV. It was a pointless product. But this? This may actually have a market. A truly portable handheld PC gaming device is something that may actually catch on. It's obviously not gonna beat the Switch in the sales charts, but I think it could be something really cool. Obviously, wait until we have footage of the thing before passing judgment, but my, my point is this actually has potential. But because it's the current year and console warring on Twitter is hitting critical mass, there were a lot of pissed off console peasants tweeting about this announcement. I don't know what it is about this thing that's so offensive to these people, but maybe we can learn a little something about them by going through some of my favorites of the day. The D-Pad says, twice as heavy as the Switch, $100 more than the Switch, easily the least ergonomic handheld ever constructed. Guys. What? Well, for starters, it's twice as heavy as the Switch because the Switch is a pretty light system. Like, yeah, it's a lot heavier than the Switch, but in the grand scheme of things, it's still not that heavy. The Switch is just really light. And yes, it's $100 more than the Switch because it's like 50 times stronger. The tech is better, like all around in this thing. The fact you're getting this kind of tech and this kind of possible performance, and remember, this is not a console. It is literally a PC. So it's gonna have way more functionality than any console on the market. This price tag is completely reasonable and comparing it to the Switch on an apples to apples basis just means you're missing the point. Pretty sure this violates a copyright? Yeah, sorry. Nintendo is the only company that can make handheld products, sorry. Like, yeah, it looks like the Switch, but it's not the same as the Switch. That's not how copyright works. That's the same price of a PS5. Yeah, but it's a whole ass PC. Aren't the console people the same ones that are always saying we can't build a PC for the same price as a console? So it, yeah, it's the same price as a PS5. You're welcome. So this is like the Nintendo Switch, but with weird ass buttons. Are the buttons weird? I mean, I didn't really think so. I'm probably not gonna buy the thing regardless, but I didn't I didn't see anything wrong with the buttons themselves. How about instead of trying to make the failed Steam machine a thing, you actually work on your games? Number one, Valve's hardware division and their software division are not the same. That's not how game companies work. Just the same way that the people who make Nintendo games are not the same people designing the Switch. Two, Valve dropped one of the best games of 2020 last year. I think they've proven they're allowed to take their time. And three, comparing the Steam Machine to the Steam Deck, it again misses the point. The Steam Machine was a pointless system. The Steam Deck actually has a potential audience. They're two completely different products. One was a PC in a box in a hardware format that nobody really cared about. This is a handheld portable PC. Two completely different products and two probably completely different markets. It will fail miserably. Switch OLED will outsell this garbage by 1,000 to 1, despite the fact that the Steam Deck has infinitely more games, infinitely more functionality. It doesn't have paid online. You have access to pretty much everything about the PC that you would want, at least from a gaming software standpoint. Really, what is it the Switch has over the Steam Deck now? And again, I'm not saying the Steam Deck is going to beat the Switch in terms of sales or in terms of installed user base, but really, if you want to compare the Switch to the Steam Deck, what does the Switch have over it? Other than the price tag, I guess, and maybe a handful of exclusives. But also, I've already seen people talking about how you're going to be able to emulate on the Steam Deck. So does the Switch even have exclusives over this thing? Muhammad's back, this time on the IGN one. $400 is overpriced, but like, three tweets ago you were shilling for PlayStation. So is this just a streaming device, basically? You can run Xbox games off your phone. Thank you for your amazing input, Leon. Because streaming games and running games natively on a PC are the same thing. Handheld gaming is that simple. Thank you, Leon. So it's just as expensive as a PS5 and then a fucking GIF of a PS5 commercial? Again, this thing is going to have way more functionality and a stupidly bigger game library than the PS5. And again, it's a PC, not a console. It's a $500 handheld gaming PC. 
If you're upset this thing costs as much as a console, that's because the console is overpriced. It's a cool concept, but I don't see the point. PC games don't always play well with the controller, and those who do are generally available on console where an Xbox Series S would be a better deal. An Xbox Series S, with a limited games library paid online, more expensive games, far less functionality, and it's not portable. Did you really just compare this thing to a Series S? Sir. No. The sad true of Valve than a Half-Life 3 meme. Stop. I ain't paying that just to play Gmod from Nintendo E. I can't tell if this is someone who, like, the only thing they play on PC is Gmod, or if it's a Nintendo fan doing the whole PC exclusives are dumb thing. Implying that exclusive games are the only reason people play on PC, which is wrong. Whichever one. Stop it. I guess this would be great if you have a lot of PC exclusive games. Oh, there we go again. But if you mostly play cross platform games, why not buy a $120 phone controller, sign up for xCloud, and play those same games on the phone you already have? Again, people just not understanding the difference between streaming a game and playing the game natively. There is a giant difference there. If you can't see it, fucking yikes. Also, there's more to a PC than just the PC exclusive games, and also there's more to PC than just cross-platform games from the last few years, like games releasing on console and PC, like you realize the PC can do way more than that. Our backwards compatible library is pretty much infinite. We have a bigger library of games, it's not close. I've said it before, if you're looking for a machine that will let you go back and play older games from pretty much any generation, at the best performance you're going to get those games at, get a PC. Even a budget PC will allow you to do that. Oh, okay, so Valve, this too busy to work on Team Fortress 2, but they can spend all their time working on a console that nobody will buy because they don't seem to realize PC gamers don't like using consoles. Oh boy, oh boy, again. Software division, hardware division. They are not the same, but they are under the same company umbrella. Valve is not even close to the only company doing this. Also, this is not a console, this is a portable PC. Also, also, PC gamers don't like to use consoles, or we just prefer to play on PC? Doesn't mean we dislike the idea of consoles in, like at all. I still have my consoles, I don't play on them very often, I play mainly on PC because the PC has pretty much everything I want, but that doesn't mean I dislike the existence of consoles. Consoles have their own purpose. And also, 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 you reference PC gamers here. Like, desktop PC gamers, I'm assuming. This is a handheld system. Completely different marketplace. Yes, a lot of overlap between, you know, stationary desktop gamers or console gamers and, you know, handheld console gamers. Obviously, there's a lot of overlap there. But people are not going to be looking at the PC and the Steam Deck side by side, the same way that they usually don't look at a PS5 and a Switch side by side. It's just different experiences. You're appealing to a different segment of the gaming populace. Do I think the Steam Deck will be a big success? I'm not actually sure. I want to see how it plays out. I'm very curious to see how it plays out. But it's a really interesting product, and it's one that I think is going to fill a niche that a lot of people want filled, and it's going to light the fire under Nintendo, hopefully, to really amp up their hardware game, amp up their feature game, because the Switch really doesn't have competition of any kind right now. I'm really interested to see what comes of this. The thing is supposed to launch in December, so you know we'll probably start seeing some demonstrations in the next few months. I'm really interested, though. Again, not 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 passing any judgment until I see it. Not making a final judgment call on it until I see the thing in action, but I'm interested. I'm interested. Anyways, that's all from me today. Feel free to click the like button or the subscribe button. Those are things that YouTubers say at the end of videos. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter and you can donate with the link in the channel description or the video description. I'm just so good at this. I'm so good at this. Toodles.